All right, so we've taken some time to set up the account, and it's important to know all of these basic features of Facebook. The, the part about what will you be sharing, and maybe people ask, what time of day should I share, and all of that, I cannot exactly teach that because everyone is a little bit different. But what I will show you here is, when you've got a Facebook business page, I'm on the home page here, I have the option to write status, photo, video, event milestone. I have a few different things that I can share. I can attach a picture to some text. I can attach little icons and smileys and such. I can attach locations. Photos and videos this is pretty cool. They've made this more complex. I can upload individual photos. I can make albums. I can make something called a carousel, which is like a slideshow in a way. There is something different called a slideshow, which this one is animated. This one will play. Next one, next one, next one, up to seven. I can even put a little music on some of these. So these are getting really interesting multimedia, uh, interesting to work with. And a brand new one called Canvas. Now you can tell a more immersive story by combining images and videos. So before, I'm going to share a picture with a little text, or I'm going to share a video with a little text. A canvas is something like that, but lets you create more of a story. Multiple videos, multiple pictures, multiple text. More effort, more work, but it could reach more of an audience. It's just more visual things, and studies are showing on all of our social networks. People are liking visual things much more than simply text. So you will need to explore what these are. If I want to create a slideshow, you click. It's pretty self-explanatory. You get these little items that if you hover your mouse over, it will tell you some more. I don't have time to explain all of these. You can look at them on your own. Events and milestones. So events are not usable for everyone, but for some people this is really good. Under the event is that you would create literally some sort of event like, hey everyone, visit us on this day and time. Come to our website at this day and time. Come to Main Street on this day and time. We're having an event. We're having some sort of get-together. So you would be able to create an event, put a picture, that's the name, what's the location, date and time, and all of that. It's, it's an event. It's a meeting place taking people out of the Facebook, of the digital world, to the real world, to a real location. You can create as many of these as you want. Free admission, where's the place for you to buy the tickets or find out more information about the event. You can visit our website. Who else is part of this event? Connect other people. And this is a much more advanced thing that you can do. You can't do this on Twitter. You can't do this on Instagram. Google. Plus has a version of it, but the Facebook one is the most powerful. This one here on Facebook, it's pretty cool. It's much more effort than simply posting a picture once a week. You're going to put on an event. Milestone. It's just a little sort of like self-congratulatory thing to show you that today we've had our 1,000th customer. And you'll put in a, a little text, maybe a graphic, when did it happen, and this is just more content to be shared. The point of all of the social media is to share something. As I said previously, what can you post to get a reaction from your current or future customers? So this milestone, I'm going to post, I reached my 1,000th customer. People then might reply to that and say, congratulations. People might like that. Um, people might share it. I'm getting activity. The point of all of this activity is to decide who is the most, remember we're going for that 1%, who is the most active on your social media. I have 100 followers. 1% 1 of that is one person. One person is the most active, perhaps, that would go out and buy your product. It is a very low number, but some people might be much better at this and have 20% efficiency. 20% 20 of 100 followers is 20 people. Is 20 people enough for your business? Maybe, maybe not. Note, 
is different from that other note thing that was not active. Note right here is Facebook's attempt at making, letting you make blogs. Um, WordPress is a famous blog. Blogger is another famous blog. Blogspot, and now Facebook has one. This is a place for you to add some sort of intro graphic, add a title, when did you publish it, writing something. You know, uh, the story of our first cupcake. <laughs> and then I'm writing something. I'm writing something, and I have the ability to do a little bit of styling, embed photos, alignment, headings. So they're one upping uh, Google Plus. Where on Google Plus, I have the ability to bold it or italicize it. I can do that here too, in a much more sort of like blog. Uh, system. How many of you had ever seen this before today? All right, so you might, I don't know if regular people have this, because again, I deal mostly with businesses. But we have a, another way to share something more like a blog post. I can then, you know, publish it. I can delete it, of course. Um, but I publish that, and all my followers. All my followers could see this, all those that basically if a if a person has liked your page, that's basically a follow. So in theory, your content then would be shown to the people that have liked your page. So I made this great blog post. People might see it. People could then react. They could give it a like and move on. And Facebook has changed that so that now people can give, you know, what is it, the heart or the angry face or the scared face and all of that stuff. People can now react in a different way besides like. People can comment. If I have the ability, if I let people to comment, they will be able to comment. If I want to delete their comment, I'll be able to delete. If a person really liked my item, they can share it to more people. The same interactions like every other network, maybe with a different name. So what you share, I can't really tell you what to share, but you have a variety of things that you can share, and because you can use this for free and try something this week and something next week, you're free to do this, and I recommend to try different post types to see what sticks, and you will see what sticks in your insights. Insights will tell you that post that I made here what type was it, and who did I target, and all of that. Reach and, reach and engagement. We had the terms a while ago about impressions and conversions. Facebook calls them reach and engagement. So, impressions in Facebook equals reach and conversions. Facebook equals engagement. And impressions are simply how many people saw your post. And on conversions, how many people reacted to your post. And a reaction, it's a, it's a pretty liberal uh, term about what they mean for it here. It could mean a reaction was a like. A reaction was a reply. A reaction was a click to follow your link. Just some reaction, some engagement. Obviously, engagements are more valuable than simply reach. I, I reached a thousand people. Does that mean I made a thousand sales? No. Maybe I made two sales, two engagements, because I got two clicks to go to my link where I'm selling the product. So I've just posted this. No one knows I exist. Uh, just like every other network. I get started. No one knows I exist. Therefore, no one can follow or like my stuff. And I can't increase my conversions easily yet. Well, we have these variety of things that we can post. Uh, I'm going to share one more thing. I'm going to say, um, is it our store on Saturday 
and use coupon code SALE123 for 10% off any baked good. This is one possible reason to use Facebook or any social network as advertising. We've seen that for Twitter, Google+, Plus, etc. Same thing here on Facebook. I can maybe jazz it up a little bit more by adding, you know, a feeling or adding a photo or location or something. Um, this wouldn't be a very good post. It's not that interesting to look at. But let's say I did want to publish this. I wanted to share this. So it kind of understood that I'm trying to do an offer. I didn't really want to. But it thinks, oh, you seem to be wanting to do an offer. Why not set it up as a real offer? I'll say no. And there's no, there's, it may have worked better as an offer, but it's, it's distracting for what I wanted to show. Um, I'm going to share something. It can be, you know, a sales offer, or it can be a, a picture, it can be anything. And the way that um, you are going to be most effective nowadays on Facebook is to, is to get into their boost post system. Because the, the double-edged sword of Facebook is there are so many people on Facebook. That's, that's good. The bad about Facebook is there are so many people on Facebook. You're a needle in a haystack. You, even though you're, you're targeting with a target audience, there's just so many people. And I said earlier that a like is basically someone following you. Well, not anymore. Facebook is actively making it difficult for businesses to reach an audience. Facebook, if I shared this, and even if I had 100 likes, if I had 100 people that chose to see my content, 100 people will not see it. Facebook will actively not show it to more people. The reason is Facebook believes people don't want to see ads. <coughs> and this is an ad. So it's not going to show your picture. I don't know to what how many. I don't know the algorithm. That's a trade secret. I don't know that if you have 100 followers, 20 will see it. I don't know if 90 will see it. I don't know if 2 will see it. I don't know. What I do know is that Facebook conveniently has a system for you to reach those 100 or more people. And it's their boost post system. And boost post is the nice way of say, saying paying to reach more people. So I talk about Facebook on the third day because modern Facebook, you've got to pay for it. And all of these years we've always been hearing, Facebook is going to start charging us, and everyone gets mad, and I hate Facebook, they're going to start charging us. For businesses, they've been charging us. For people, no, they're not going to charge people to use Facebook. They're not going to charge people to connect with grandma. They're not going to charge people to <laughs> upload your funny cat picture. They're not going to charge people to use Facebook. We're not people. We're businesses. They're gladly going to charge us, and they've been doing it. So it may be completely against every fiber of my being, but to use Facebook effectively, we have to pay. And it is, unfortunately, the way it is now, because Facebook is actively making it difficult for your business to be reached by people that even said, I want to see this. Question. So I see that I can, you know, invite my friends from my personal page to like my business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it seems kind of that doesn't seem kind of honorable to go over to my friend page and like, you know, and invite, you know, like a hundred people I can ignore. Mm -hmm. I don't want a personal page. Mm -hmm. So that I can hurry up and invite more people. Invite people into your business page. You can, and that's uh, similar to as if I had a a Twitter page for the business and a Twitter page for myself, and I'm telling my friends on my personal Twitter, hey, go follow my business page on Twitter. That's perfectly fine to do. The, in my own company, I have a disagreement about that. I don't believe that's very valuable. I don't believe it's valuable to tell your friends and family, go like or follow my business page. I'm not going to build my business on the backs of my friends and, and family. But other people in my company tell me that is valuable because you are getting the ball rolling with some people following and liking, and perhaps some of those friends and family know other connections that you don't know 
that they can then like the page and you get more of a reach. Yeah. <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> Yeah, that might be more um, legitimate, perhaps. Get your business contacts rather than your personal. There may be a value to it. You could give it a shot. Personally, I don't like to do that because, you know, I'm going to build new business relationships for a business. I'm not going to, again, bother my friends and family to like another page again. Right. Okay. That's, okay. So basically, I can't post my friends and they can like my business page. You could, but I don't recommend it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's that's related to that. Sure, I can share the whole business page. For my own personal, I could share this page and say, hey, everyone, it'd be great if you check out this page. Or I could share individual posts. Yeah, just like an individual post. So you're still getting business. So everybody that's on your personal list will see that post. Yeah, but again, I don't have 500 friends. Maybe I've got 100 friends. And that might not be of enough of an audience to reach, you know, good amount of sales. So, sure, you can share it that way for free and reach those 50 connections I have. But I'm going to need more than 50 connections, perhaps, for a viable business. Can you share it publicly? Can your friends and friends see it? It'll reach some amount of people still, but unfortunately, there's no way, there's no good way around this. No, no, but I mean, there's no good way around. Facebook has actively, it's their playground, they've set the rules, and they're actively making it so really, they really want the business to pay for more visibility. And the other ways around that are going to be somewhat effective, but really they're actively making it so here's the way to do it. Like if I want to drive on the highway, I can build my own car in my backyard, and I could possibly drive it on the, on the highway until I get stopped by the police. Same thing here. I could possibly do these ways around the official system, but eventually I might get prevented from doing so, or I might get shut down, or I don't know. So I should use their system. So we have to make then the realization here. The most effective way to use Facebook. is to pay. Simple, point blank, unfortunate. Because you have so many people using it, this, as I'll show you in just a moment, this will be the best way to reach the people that will really care about your product. And we will see, at least on the good side, start with as little as one dollar. Mm -hmm. Question? I think he's going to ask the same question, what the scale of the cost is. Well, it's a, it's a pretty good range. It's between one dollar all mm -hmm. the way up to that much. <laughs> The, the minimum of a dollar. Um, we will see this in just a moment because right now I have zero followers. No one knows I exist. With as little as a dollar, I can already reach like 100 to 200 people that don't know that I exist but that will possibly care about my business. Obviously, if I pay $20, I'll reach more people. If I pay $100, I'll reach even more people. If I pay 1000 Google will, uh, Facebook will gladly take $1,000 from me, and I can reach 10,000 potential customers. So that's what this whole system is about here. Do you see that I'm about to create something, and it says either publish it or boost it. Boost your post to reach more people, in parentheses, by paying money. <laughs> so as I'm creating a status update, a photo update, I'll have the ability uh, to... Uh, to boost it, or after the fact, I can boost something that I haven't created yet. I personally prefer to first post something and then boost it, because I found sometimes as you're creating this content and you're over on the boost screen and there's a bunch of things to fill out here and something goes wrong and I lose my place on this boost screen, I might have lost everything that I was trying to put together back on the original post, like this, Facebook's crashing.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I might something might crash, and what I was trying to put together, I lost that because I never finished boosting before I published. So I recommend publish something, then it's set in stone, and then and then I can boost it. So I publish that. I want more people to see that I've got a coupon going on. I published it, and then now I have the ability to boost. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this. Here we have a, an audience. Mine's already been set up, so it might not look exactly like yours, but we'll follow along for the moment. We have an audience about who are we trying to reach. We have a budget and a duration. Facebook is suggesting me twenty dollars. I can reach up to three between three thousand seven hundred and nine thousand nine hundred people for twenty dollars. I'm going to run this campaign for one day, seven days, fourteen days. How long am I going? How long is Facebook going to try to show this post to more people within this time period, within these demographics, which I'll get back to in a moment? for this budget. Well, this is just classic marketing in the real world. How long has that billboard been up there? A company paid to have it run for a month on the five. A company paid to have it run for a week. A company paid to have that billboard, that radio ad, that ad in the newspaper for some amount of time. Here on social media, Facebook, because we can do this on Twitter. I didn't talk about it in Twitter, but you can boost your tweets on Twitter as well. Uh, when we get to Pinterest, we can boost our pins on Pinterest too. All the social networks now are moving toward pay us and you can reach more people. Facebook is the one that's the most blatant that you really need to do it. On Twitter, no, you can reach a really good audience totally for free. On Pinterest, you can reach a good audience totally for free. On Instagram, too. Facebook, because there's so many people on it. It's, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a, you know, biting its own tail. You have to pay to reach more people because there's so many people, but so many people are adding to themselves to Facebook that you need to pay to reach more people because there's so many people. And as I said, you can do it as little as a dollar. It's suggesting $20, but I can go all the way down to a dollar. If it doesn't say a dollar, you can type a dollar. And with one dollar, I can reach 270 to 700 people when I have no followers right now. Question? Is there any way to test the, uh, the effectiveness of this, or is it just a small out gamble? From this screen, no. But from another screen that I'll show, it's a much more powerful screen which, with much more ability. We can test, do some tests on this other screen I'll show in a moment. Yes? Um, how is the billing set up? Since mine's already set up, I've got my credit card there already. If yours is not set up yet, it'll ask you to set up a credit card. It can be credit card, debit card, PayPal, whatever. I would recommend the credit card. Um, and then so once this is set up, it'll, it'll charge me... How does it go? It charges me at the end of the, at the, end of the campaign. So if I've set it up for 14 days, well, I need at least $14 for 14 days because it's going to spend an effort of $1 per day. Let's say I'm spending $14 for two weeks. It can reach about 2,000 to 7,000 people. Um, and so what Facebook will do is it will show this post to more people. It might show it in different ways. In my case, it's only showing it on the desktop news feed. But this will show it to people. You've seen this yourself. You've been browsing, you've been using Facebook before, and you see a little thing about some company, a little picture from some other company. You see some advertisement on the center or the side. You see stuff from another company that you never followed. Hopefully, it was something that you might have had an interest in. And so this is what we're about to do here. First, to all the followers that I have, they should see it. And to new followers that I don't have, they should see it. And marketing in the real world, I have to ask that advertising company, okay, I'm going to pay $1,000 to put my billboard on the five. What results am I going to get? We'd be asking the same question to Facebook, 
the same question to that billboard company. And that billboard company will try to show you some statistics of what has happened in the past, but your particular billboard, about your particular product put upon on the particular time of the year, is enough variables that those stats that the billboard company shows you are not always going to be the exact stats. And same thing with Facebook. Facebook can say, okay, 2,000 to 7,000 people, approximately. Um, for many factors, such as what are you sharing, your effectiveness will, co will come most into play. Yes? Um, so if this is true, the desktop, what about a mobile device? Would that come up also? It will, but my particular one is a really terrible post here, so it's not really sharing it that well. But if I share something real with a nice photo and real text and such, it will show me. This is how it'll look like on desktop and mobile. But you don't have to make a change to go mobile, right? No. Okay. It should be automatic. Yes? How long have they been doing this? At least two years, maybe five. I haven't quite paid too much attention to when it happened. It's very effective because I can show you here an example of a client. Just one moment. How does that get an example? I just posted. Oh, we'll get to your example one moment. Let me show an, an, an example here of one of these clients uh, to show you that um, when we uh, do these boostings over here on Insights, I can show, you know, here's this activity. And the colors here show. The, uh, the, the pale color is organic reach, meaning non-paid, and the dark orange is, is paid, uh, is organic and paid, so the dark is paid. Uh, this shows 5,000 people, it, it reached it, and I can break it down here, uh, organic, 1,400 paid, 4,300, that's almost four times efficacy on that one post. This one over here was 232 versus 2,000. That's 10 times more. And then over here, 984 to 2,000. That's almost double, or more than double. So just by showing this and what kind of budget, you know, $21, $21, $13, this is reaching people. This is a couple of lattes a week. If instead I, I don't get a coffee or two for a week and I spend $20 to reach an audience when I have no audience right now, this is going to reach some amount of people. Again, I can't, I can't tell you that, yeah, we reached 3,000 people and that was 2,000 sales. I cannot say that. No advertiser can tell you that. They can just tell you, we're going to lead the horse to water, but they've got a drink. And so here, if I properly craft a good photo about the product with a good bit of text, something that will get the reaction about the like and whatever, then that might be enough to get people to then follow through, go to the main shop, and buy the product. Anecdotally, what have you um, seen? I just did my first boost last week, mm -hmm. and I, um, I'm a speaker, a trainer, and I had put a video up previously organically, and it had maybe 300 people viewed it, three likes. Mm -hmm. I boosted it last week for seven days, 4,000 people viewed it, yeah, and 40 nice. some likes. Mm -hmm. So it was huge, just the, the difference. And it was a previously posted one, like you said, that I posted in June, mm -hmm. and just, re it just boosted it last week. So huge difference. So it's very cynical, unfortunately, to say it like, oh, what a coincidence that you pay to get more results. But that's just the nature of it. All the networks are like this to some degree. Facebook's is the most blatant. It has to be. It's got such big clientele. It's so big. The positive aspect is you can be as little as $1 to start off with right here to reach 200 people. Not 200 sales. It's 200 reach. Actual conversions or engagement is another thing, and that's still up to you. I will be providing, of course, next time some more advice on the social networks of what to share, I've been glossing over that because on all of these networks, it's still going to be up to you. What are you sharing? What's your picture? What's your text? How did you word it? We can go into detail about that later. Does it Question. Also Just one at a time. Yeah. Yes. So, when you go back there, mm -hmm. on the results. So does that does that mean thirty-two people said something to you or liked you or? Well, it, it breaks it up right here. It says post clicks. 32 people clicked on that post. So possibly 32 people followed the link to the website to buy the product, mm -hmm. possibly. Over here, about the 158, this is a reaction, comment, shares. This was a like, this was a reply, or a share. So a lot of people liked it, but 32 people really clicked. 
we had a link in that post that says also click here to buy it. They clicked on the like or they clicked on the reply, but they didn't click the link to go to the website. If you're doing a just and then just because 32 people reached my website doesn't mean 32, 32 sales. There might have still been at some point that a person said, well, it's too expensive, I'll come back later. But at least I led 32 horses to the water and I have to check other stats to see how many drank. Yes. And um, if you're doing a study with like a little dollar, like a dollar, and um, I saw that it only is good for a day, are there, is there data based on um, a day of the week that's better? Or you will get that right here because everyone ranges. It will tell you, um, where is it? Yeah, page views. It'll tell you what times of day. So much data, and they've changed it recently. But somewhere here in our let's see, is it reach, somewhere here it'll tell us the time of day that was most effective. But this, is there data on the time of day, like just to know when we best send that dollar? No, because okay. everyone's product is different. Okay. So as we do it, and as we spend a dollar at a time, okay. it will give us our stats to show. It looks like your most effective time to post is 9 a.m. Okay. So we kind of do our own data. Yeah. There's uh, one more question in the back. I thought I saw a hand. Nope. Okay, so this is the whole point of Facebook nowadays that we're going to be boosting posts that is paying to reach more people. See, I, I didn't finish boosting it, so it, it knows that I'm interested in that. Uh, I had seen, I had shown the section here then of budget and duration. What's very important here also is the audience. And mine's already set up, so notice I've got an audience of Southwestern College students, an audience of bloggers, an audience of healthy living, an audience well-to-do clients. So this is like that marketing and targeting that we saw previously. You, Since you don't have anything here, most likely it says create new audience. And then it pops up something similar to what we've seen before. What's the name of this audience? I'm going to say here, um, techie people. I'm going to target techie people. Now, I'm a bakery, so I don't know how that relates, but techie people. And men and women, men or women, etc. Uh, what's the age? I'm going to say 20 to 30 year olds. So a very narrow range. Location, California is fine, and then interests. So here again, as before, I, I need to select an interest. So I've got technology, I've got the technology audience in there, people interested in consumer electronics versus computers. I'll say computers, interested in uh, desktop computers. So this is one target audience that I'm creating based on location and age and gender and interests. So I can be specific here. What I would say as a starting point, and I'll put these in my notes, because this is a whole new can of worms um, regarding boosted target audience. Start off your uh, first boosts. Rather broad. Um, perhaps don't hone in on the ages just yet. Uh, perhaps target California instead of San Diego. Uh, be a little bit broad because then you're going to collect data in that insights screen, then it'll tell you, okay, you were targeting everyone, but the 30 to 40 year olds reacted more. You were targeting everyone in the US, but California and New York were reacting more. That then gives me advice for the next times, subsequent boosts are based on insights data that insights screen. Look at that screen, look at every single screen that it tells you because it's telling you there. Between this time of day, for these people at this location. 
<laughs> so I'm going to then craft a more specific or segmented audience for those people to reach those people more effectively. That $10 that I spent at a very wide net only got me two likes. But then as I get more specific, those same $10 could get me 20 likes. I don't know what the specifics are. When we set up our general page audience early on in the day, that was a shot in the dark. I don't know if really those age ranges are the ones that care. I will know that specifically once I start to uh, boost and segment my audience, meaning find the pieces within the larger audience that really is the target audience. So in the beginning I might start off kind of broad and then later on go more specific and let's say I create an audience then and I can then access it whenever I want. Default audience, techie audience, well-to-do, healthy living audience. I can go back in and, and edit that audience but once I've created an audience that will then also apply to what my budget is and what my timeline is. And it says potentially the more you spend the more you can reach the maximum. At $14, I'm reaching 2000 If I'm going up to $200, I'm reaching 16,000 people. It's a lot of money for not as much return, but um, you know, even more money, even more people. Even with $1 as a starting point, 160 potential audience members, not 160 sales, not 160 clicks, 160 people that would at least see your content, then it's still up to them to decide to click and follow through if you've created a message, a video, a post, whatever, that will really appeal to them. Once I set all of this up, I can then boost it, and within the time period and budget, it'll, Facebook will now actively try to show your content to those people. At the moment, it's not going to actively show it to very many people. I don't know what their algorithm is. I don't know what percentage it is. It may be, I don't know, 50%. 50% of your likes are going to see your post if you don't boost it. If you boost it, then it might be 99%. I don't know. It's a trade secret. This is one effective way then. Post something, boost it, reach more of an audience. A more powerful way, and then we have to wrap up, is that on the top right corner, if you go back to the triangle, you have Manage Ads. This is their more powerful ad system. Let's take a quick look at that. Click the triangle and then Manage Ads. Under Manage Ads, we have many more types of boosted posts or ads that we can publish. Um, well, we should have gone to the other one first. This one will list all of the ones that are active or not, uh, but we also had create ad. Manage ads would be about if we've got any that currently exist. Manage ad. We should have gone to create ads. But if you went to Manage Ads, you can still get there if you click on the menu at the top and then go to Ads Manager. You've also got Help. There's your billing info and all of that. All of the images you've saved, all of this really complex stuff. Ads Manager. Create an ad. Yeah, again, because mine's already been set up, it might be a little bit different, but it's going to be in there somewhere. And I have eventually these possible types of paid ads I can do. I can make an ad specifically to promote my page to get more likes. I can boost the post. That's what we did a moment ago. This is in the awareness column. People learn about you. Consideration conversion. This is a deeper level in the process. You're not going to get one sale out of one like, oftentimes. You need more effort. So the next level of effort is a consideration. Okay, at least visit my website. Here's a way for me to create a Facebook ad that will help drive people to my website. 
Again, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Is your website well designed? Is the shopping cart process easy to use? They, we may, you may have spent $500 to get people to come to your website, but if your website still is not on par with a good functional website, you might have wasted $500. Maybe you spent $10 and you have an amazing website and you made two sales. That's two sales out of $10. That's a great result. And then conversion, that's the one a lot of people really, really want. Actually get people to buy my product. Uh, get people to buy the product on the website or the conversion, which could be a donation on the website or look at my paintings or buy my product. So these are some other aspects of what you can do when you pay. Facebook, very complex here. I really think for beginners, simply starting to boost your posts as easily as I showed a moment ago, I would recommend that's what you start off with. I wouldn't get into that really complex ad manager yet. It can be very complex. But as a starting point, when we get more into detail about content, share content. Think about boosting it. Think about your budgets. And starting to reach an audience because now, if you use Facebook, you have a lot of people you can reach, but you're a needle in a haystack. Final questions, and then we need to wrap up. Yes? Well, look at this. I'm on my home personal Facebook. Hopefully nothing weird pops up here. <laughs> but on the right side then, I might see items appear here on the right side. So I'm seeing something for off-ram. I may be interested in that. I may see things that appear over here under trending. I may get stuff listed in the middle here like Pandora. Maybe I am interested in Pandora. So stuff appears either on the main line or in the side line over here. At the moment, it's not going to be that it pops up and takes your attention yet. It may be that eventually. But right now it's going to be, you know, hopefully subtly integrated within your main timeline and off on the side. And yes, some people are completely against ads and will never look there and never click there. But we have that range, 200 to 700. So some amount of people will totally ignore this suggestion in the ad and some amount of people will say, I do need that product and click. I haven't put them in the folder yet. I'll put them in the folder in just a moment. So everything that we've done today then applies to some degree to the other networks. Next time we come back, we're going to talk about Pinterest and how to set that up, business page, so forth. Pinterest has boosting pins as well, but we don't really need it as much yet. We'll talk about Pinterest next time. Can we get your notes? I'm about to. I'm about to get it right now. So what I'm about to do then, if you don't want this page anymore, remember go to your settings, and at the bottom of the screen there's an option there to delete the page. If this was just a testing page, you can go to settings, and at the bottom, remove page. I'm going to log out here, and I'm going to put my notes in the folder. And remember, if you'd like the videos, to watch the videos, you need to send me an email, and I will send you the videos.